viewers in this video we are going to see about the infertility and art the meaning of art is assisted reproductive technology so first let us see about the definition for the infertility so the definition for infertility is inability to conceive children that is the family they may not have the ability of conceiving or getting a baby even if they are following the unprotected sex that we call it as the infertility we are saying the same thing can be said in this way also that is inability of a person animal or plant to reproduce by natural means this also can be called as infertility so if the family or a person if they have the infertility problem how to solve this one for that we have the art that is a r t which stands for assisted reproductive technology so in that what do we do it is a collection of procedures here they are given a collection of procedures which include and what do we include in that we are handling of gametes or embryos we are handling the gametes or the embryos outside the body what for we are handling all those things to achieve pregnancy that we call it as art you are saying so art is the thing but assisted reproductive technology so by using this technology we use the gametes embryos outside the body of the female and we achieve the pregnancy so when we are going for this art or the assisted reproductive technology we are going to concentrate on the ivf so a method ivf or it is otherwise also or commonly it is called as the test tube baby so in this ivf or the test tube baby method what do we do when we are taking this method the sperms are and the eggs are allowed to unite outside the body so outside the body in the sense outside the body of the female or what we say it as in the laboratory we are making the fertilization process to take place that we call it as ivf or the test tube baby or what we say it as in vitro fertilization we are saying we call that one as the ivf or test tube baby we are saying so here we are saying we take the sperm and the egg and these two are allowed to unite where they are allowed to unite outside the body so generally in the normally what will happen the fusion of sperm and egg is called a fertilization that will be taking place inside the female body already we have studied about the internal fertilization and external fertilization in human being we have this internal fertilization but if the person or if the family have the infertility problem then we go for this ivf method so what do we call it as in the generally we used to say it as test tube baby we are saying now 
let us see why the infertility is caused so when we are taking in the case of male the infertility first what's the meaning of male infertility the inability of man to produce sufficient number or quality of sperm to impregnate a woman and that we call it as the male infertility he cannot able to make a woman to become permanent that we call it as the male infertility and why this male infertility is caused and this infertility may be caused due to the undescendant testicles so when the boy is attaining the maturity automatically the testicles must to be descend but if it is not taking place that may be one of the reason second reason if you are taking due to the genetic problem or the genetic defects then some other health problems such as diabetes or infection such as chlamydia may be and chlamydia is nothing but it is a sti actually it is a bacterial disease and it is a sexually transmitted infection so that only we call it as sti or if the male if he is suffering from the std that is sexually transmitted like gonorrhea or if he is affected by means of mumps or hiv this may be the reason apart from that premature ejaculation certain genetical diseases when we are taking about the genetical diseases we have this cystic fibrosis structural problems such as blockage in the testicle if the testicle if they have the blockage they will not allow the sperms to move or sometimes while we are playing the damage may be caused to the reproductive organ so all these may be the problem for the male fertility we are saying okay when we are taking about the female body the female infertility may be due to ovulation disorders that may be a cause or uterine or cervical abnormalities fallopian tube damage or if it is completely blocked then endometriosis so what's the meaning of endometriosis it is a condition where tissue similar to the lining of uterus grows on other parts of our body that we call it as the endometriosis we are saying and because of all this problem the female may be getting the infertility because of the infertility whomever it may be whether it is affected to a lady or a gen they will not be having a baby so what is the alternative method to be followed so for this purpose only we have this art so in that we have this ivf that is in vitro fertilization or test tube baby vaccine so in this method or in this process six steps are followed step 1 stimulating ovaries second one egg retrieval third one semen analysis fourth one fertilization 
fifth one after the process of fertilization the embryo must be transferred then afterwards the pregnancy test is conducted so that the lady becomes pregnant or not so by these six steps we complete the ivf process so let us see step by step what is stimulating ovaries egg retrieval semen analysis fertilization embryo transfer pregnancy test okay so the first step stimulating ovaries so in this what do we do so in the human reproductive system we have studied about the menstrual cycle so at the time of menstrual cycle in every month one egg will be produced but for this ivf treatment process we need many eggs so many eggs can be produced by using the hormones you are saying so which will be given by the particular doctor so that instead of one egg many eggs will be produced so in the female body many eggs are produced next step we are going for the egg retrieval so what do we do for this process first we had to give anesthesia that is general anesthesia must be given to the female then a thin needle will be inserted into each ovaries through the vagina and these needle will be guided by the ultrasound so here in this egg retrieval what do we do first we give the general anesthesia and then a thin needle is inserted in each ovaries through the vagina so for this purpose the general anesthesia is given and which is called as a minor surgery a small surgery only in this and in the needle what do you have you have a device called suction device what is the work performed by the suction device which is used to pull eggs out of each follicle so from the ovary the eggs are pulled out from the follicle with the help of this suction device and after that the eggs are placed in a special solution and it is kept in an incubator so we are preserving it okay so this is the stimulating ovaries and the egg retrieval process in this diagram you can see very clearly about the process of stimulating ovaries here we have this ultrasound probe so that will be guiding the needle so where do you have this is the ovary in the ovary we have the eggs containing follicle these are present egg containing follicles are present and this needle by or with the help of this ultrasound probe is collecting the eggs and this needle and this entire instrument is entered or inserted through the vagina okay so previously we have seen in the case of female that is stimulating ovaries then egg retrieval when we come for 
the meal we have to perform the semen analysis so in the semen analysis what do we do we count how much number of sperms are present whether they are in the healthy condition whether they have the viability whether they are actively swimming or sluggishly swimming that must be analyzed that we call it as the semen analysis is so after the semen analysis the egg or allowed to undergo the process of fertilization and the method of fertilization is called icsi that is intra cytoplasmic sperm injection so in this method what do we do the sperm will be injected into each mature egg so this can be easily understood by the diagram so i shall show you the diagram this diagram represents the process of the icsi which means intra cytoplasmic sperm injection so here we have the injection needle in that the middle portion here we have the sperm so such a minute injection needle we are inserting where do you insert inside the egg so in the egg we have the egg cytoplasm so inside the egg cytoplasm we release inside the egg cytoplasm we release this sperm through this outlet so now what will happen the sperm will be present inside the egg cytoplasm and while we are inserting the needle the egg may be moving so to hold the egg we have the tool called the holding tool so with the help of that the sperm is injected into the cytoplasm of the egg using a fine needle okay so by the process of icsi that is intra cytoplasmic sperm injection we have made many fertilized eggs so now what do we do one or more fertilized eggs may be transported sorry transferred into the woman's uterus and it will be implanted in the uterine line and allowed to develop so now we are using one or more fertilized eggs so many eggs are there suppose fertilized eggs are there but for this ivf purpose we use only one fertilized egg and it will be implanted in the uterine line and develop then what do we do with the excess embryos these excess embryos may be cryo preserved for the future use we did what is the meaning of cryo preservation so in the cryo preservation we follow that is we we have more embryos than needed for a single ivf transfer the remaining embryos are preserved by freezing so the temperature is lowered a lot and the embryos are 
preserved we are saying okay what for we are preserving so the embryos can be used for the next time also or the embryo can be given to another person those who do not have a child so that we are saying it can provide an additional opportunity for pregnancy the same lady or some other lady we can give the preserved fertilized eggs and this process is called frozen embryo transfer so the embryos are allowed to stand still because the temperature is very low so that the embryos are preserved and these embryos can be used for the next time so that we call it as the fet frozen embryo transfer because once if we have this preserved fertilized egg there is no necessity for the first step called ovarian stimulation and the egg retrieval and this process can be stopped or this cannot be performed once again so in that way we can save our time and we can make the lady to feel comfortable so this diagram explains about the embryo transfer here the heading it says the embryo transfer and all of you know that this is the uterus portion and inside the uterus we are using an instrument called catheter with the help of that catheter inside the catheter you have this fertilized egg and this fertilized egg is allowed to go through this very slowly and it is allowed to go inside the uterus and the fertilized egg is released in this so in this way the fertilized embryos are transferred to the uterus of a lady next we go for the pregnancy test whether the lady is conceived or not and this can be performed by the pregnancy test and in the medical shop we have this pregnancy kit will be there and the test can be conducted by checking a sample of urine or blood for a specific hormone so what will be present in the urine or blood there is a hormone called hcg human chorionic gonadotropin and this hormone level will be higher if we have the hcg level high then it shows that the lady is pregnant by showing the two lines so in this way we conclude or we come to a conclusion that the lady is pregnant so in this way the couple without a child can be made as a father and mother for a child so for that purpose we use this ivf or the iui so we have this ivf in vitro fertilization and so far whatever the steps we have seen it explains about the ivf 
then what is IUI? That we call it as intrauterine insemination. So that is IUI we are saying. And here what do we do? The sperm samples are collected. Sperm sample collected and it is washed. Why do we wash it? So that we will be getting only high quality sperm. And these sample is inserted into the uterus with the help of a catheter during the ovulation process so that the lady become pregnant. Then what is the difference between the IVF and IUI? In IVF the sperm and the egg are fertilized outside of uterus that is inside or in the laboratory we perform this process. Afterwards, the fertilized embryo is placed in uterus. But in the IUI, just we are spraying only the sperms, so automatically the fertilization will be taking place in the uterus. Okay. Then, when you are taking IUI, it is less expensive than the IVF. Of course, IVF, it is a little bit costlier. But IUI is not that much expensive. So, that only we are saying, IUI is less expensive when it is compared with IVF. Second one. IUI has a lower success rate. We are comparing which one is better so that we get the success rate will be higher. So when we are comparing like so in IVF the rate of success is higher when it is compared to IUI we are saying. Next we have this surrogacy. Supposing the male or the female or the husband and wife, they cannot be able to give birth to a baby by because they may have many problem, physical problem or mental problem, whatever the problem may be. Suppose if they are going for a surrogacy. So in that what do they do? They will make an agreement with whom? With another woman. What for they are making the agreement? She will be carrying a pregnancy for the couple. So in this what do we do? The sperm from the father is collected the egg from the mother is collected and by following the IVF techniques we are making the fertilized egg. Then this fertilized egg or the embryo is transferred into the woman the woman in the sense, she agreed to carry a pregnancy for this couple. And the transferred embryo will be, oh sorry, the embryo is transferred into the surrogate mother's uterus. So that the baby will be developing and after the delivery, this woman, she has to hand over the baby to the father and mother. So that we call it as surrogacy. We are saying, hope this 
video might have given more ideas about this IVF. Thank you.